This is Eugene Panrudkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Toshiba Satellite P75 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to change cracked screen on a Toshiba Satellite P75 laptop computer. Before we do anything with this model, we need to remove all sources of power, and that means removing the battery. In order to remove the battery, we close the laptop, flip the laptop over, and slide the two levers outward. Once we do that, we lift up the battery, tilt up the battery, and remove it. While we're on the bottom, I'll show you how to find the model number for this laptop. There's a Toshiba label and says Toshiba P Satellite P75. Now this is for the non-touchscreen version of this laptop. The touchscreen version has a different procedure, so make sure it's the non-touchscreen version. Okay, once we remove the battery, uh, the laptop is safe to work on, and the next order of business is to remove the plastic frame or the bezel around the screen. In order to remove the bezel, there's two screws at the bottom that have plastic covers. So we need to remove the plastic covers and to remove the screws. Before we start this, I'm going to show you the tools that we're going to be using for this procedure. We have a PH1 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the size. We have a pair of metal tweezers and that's to uh, manipulate cables, remove any screws that may be stuck and also we use it as a prying tool. I'll show you in a little bit. And finally we have a we have a hobby knife or exacto knife for the pointed tip and that's to remove screw covers and adhesive tape on the back of the screen. So let's get started. The first order of business is to remove the screw covers on the bottom. The, the one on the left is missing already so we don't have to move, remove that one and the screw is exposed. The one on the right is still there so we use our exacto knife, hobby knife, to remove it and then what happened is it got stuck on the bottom under there so there it is so what we do is we put it right next to the screw opening so we don't lose it and the next step is to remove the screws hiding behind the screw covers so we use our PH1 screwdriver and remove the two screws there's one and two. Once we do that, we can snap the screen bezel off. The way I like to do that is put my fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently lift upward and outward and listen for snapping sounds. That means it's snapping off. So we work our way around the screen like so. If he gets stuck at any point just keep moving and come back to that part later on to because it will be easier to remove then. Okay, same thing on the bottom. You just pull upward and outward to remove the bezel. Now there's a tricky part for the hinge covers. What we have to do is loosen up the seam on the back. So we lift up the laptop, put it on its side, and you see the seam, it's already loosened up a little bit. But we're gonna loosen up some more with a hobby knife, like so, and like so here. The next step, this is a little bit tricky. So what we wanna do is grab the tweezers and right at the top of the bottom assembly, we wedge our tweezers in and try to remove the hinge cover like so. So it takes a little bit of work, but it can be done. And same thing on this side. That's the best procedure I find how to do this. It is a little bit tricky. So let's try again. Load it in, and it comes out like so. And then we remove the bezel. Once we remove the bezel, we look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, it's mounted to metal mounting brackets on the sides of the screen. 
and there's screws that go in the sides of the screen. We need to be able to access these screws. So we need to tilt the screen with the metal mounting brackets forward a little bit from the back of the screen assembly. In order to do that, we need to remove the two screws that are holding the metal mounting brackets to the back of the screen assembly. So that's what we do next. And we'll tilt the screen back a little bit so things don't fall forward on us. There's one. And two. Now for each step of the procedure when we have screws involved, I like to keep them in separate piles in the order in which I remove them. And that helps me keep track of which screws go where when putting the laptop back together. Okay, next we try to tilt the screen forward from the screen assembly and we see we can access the top screw but not quite the bottom screw yet down here and also there may be a screw in the middle it depends on your laptop there may be a screw here but it looks like we can access that one so we have a trick for that we need to loosen up the two screws at the bottom that are holding the metal mounting brackets to the bottom of the screen assembly maybe half a turn maybe one turn not too much just so enough we can access the screws at the bottom there's one and when you're putting the laptop back together make sure not to forget to tighten them so it was not to damage the hinges okay once we do that we can relatively easily access the bottom screw I'm screwing it back in because it was screwed out a little bit so I'm putting it back in so once once we can access the screws, we tilt the screen assembly back a little bit so the screen doesn't fall, fall forward on us. And start with the bottom screw. Like so. And if it gets stuck here, you can use the tweezers to help you to remove them. And once again, start a new pile for the screws. Same on this side. Remove the bottom screw. Like so. And then start with the top screws, Make sure, making sure to hold the screen and the metal mounting bracket while you do that. Once you remove the screw, you saw that the screen fell back on us a little bit. That's okay, that's why we have the screen assembly tilted backward. And repeat the same step on the other side, again, like so. Alright, once we do that, we gently tilt we gently tilt the screen forward and right away we see that there's a cable getting stuck on the back of the screen. So we grab the cable, it has some light adhesive on it, remove the cable and gently tilt the screen backwards like so. And then there's some adhesive for this video, video camera cable, we remove that gently so to have better access and then put the screen down now looking at the back of the screen you can tell that it has been replaced before because this plastic sheet is crumpled it should not be crumpled but that's not gonna stop us from explaining the procedure so we loosen up the cable in order to remove the screen from the screen assembly, what we need to do is remove the adhesive from the back of the connector cable gently, like so, so that the, the back of the connector cable is free. And there's also some adhesive tape on the top. So we can either use our fingernails to lift it up or we can use the exacto knife to help us free it along but it looks like we can use our fingertips pretty easily like so in one side and two sides so once the adhesive tape is lifted up the connector comes right out this shouldn't happen it looks like the connector wasn't properly inserted the first time. So I'm going to put the connector back in, engage the connector, and show you how to properly remove the connector. So what you do is grab by the back of the video cable, 
make sure there's no adhesive tape connecting it and then gently pull the connector out like so and it comes out easily. In order to reconnect the connector you for a new screen you slide the connector back in and you should feel but not hear two clicks. So let's get a close-up of a good connection. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. Uh, but pause the video right here to get a good look. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, so once again, we remove the connector and we take a look at the screen. Now, obviously the bottom of the screen has been damaged, so don't pay attention to this part and let's look at the screen. The part number for this screen is B173HW02. B173HW02. This is a full HD screen that has the highest resolution. It's not it's higher resolution than most of the common screens for 17.3 laptops. So make sure you get the full HD screen when you order a replacement screen. Okay, uh, you can also order, we have this screen, our compatible screen in stock that is full HD and it will work on this laptop computer. And uh, to order from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com Type in the name of your laptop model, type in the number of your laptop model, and then you'll be directed to buy the right screen online. Uh, when you purchase a screen from us, you get this toolkit for free. You also get free email technical support, a two-year warranty, and free shipping in the United States. So, uh, once you do, okay, so one more thing about this screen before we go on. This particular one has a glossy finish. Most full HD screens have a matte finish. You can get see the resolution a little bit better on a matte finish screen for full HD. And the ones we provide will most likely have a matte finish. Okay, it's a minor detail, so either way should be okay. Once you do get the new screen from us, connect the connector as I showed you. Make sure this part is straightened out and mount the screen in the screen assembly. Put the two screws in the top and the two screws in at the bottom and if there are screws in the middle put those in. And then next tighten these two screws on each side so that it's not to damage your hinges. Put the two screws in for the metal mounting brackets snap the screen bezel back on and snap the hinges back on by pushing them in. Then put the two screws in at the bottom and put the screw covers on them. And that should be it. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.